Now, Leonie and I are heading out. We've what are those? We've upgraded our equipment. We've upgraded. This is the, this is the spoon 2.0. 2.0. And this is our cup that we're going to put the poop in. The lamb poop. So we have a sample from the yos up on the hill. These guys here are girl lambs. So this is a group that typically- These are the yo be, lambs. We would typically be checking them for worm eggs. So we're gonna see if we can get a sample of some fresh poop. It's just some fresh poop. lamb poop. Yes. They're not gonna like me even less. They're gonna like me even less than your there's, hilltop yo. There's one yos. old lady in here that'll probably- Oh, she's around. the nanny. I usually do that too. Yeah. Oh, some neighbor cows being nosy too. Oh yeah, nosy neighbors. Oh. What? Smell the ivy. Oh, yes. Look at, you have such a beautiful mixture there. You have elder, ash, asp, is that, what is that? What's the tall one? I don't know, it, could, it looks to be some kind of a, a birch. Poplar or birch, yeah. Then hawthorn, then look at your blackberries. You have bindweed and your elders. Look at them with their berries. This guy's actually a blackthorn. This is a blackthorn, yeah. But you don't have any blackthorn berries. No. And then more elders full. They're full and weeping down. Are you gonna make anything out of the elders? I don't know, I'm considering. Do we actually have a broom there as well? I don't know where that came from, but. A broom? A big broom. Yes. That they're, is a big broom. They're fun when you're close to them because if you shake them at this side, the seeds, it's like a maraca. Birds love them. <laughs> Birds love them. Okay, we're going to walk up into the lambs and keep an eye out. These are all the yo lambs that you, you've already selected your replacements. Yes. So these are yo lambs that you will be selling to other breeding flocks. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be probably, I'll collect whatever poop I can, but it'll probably be just one or two samples. Yes. Usually when I'm doing this, I try to get like eight to 10 samples. Okay. And um, because that's giving you just a better idea of the flock as a group, as opposed to an individual. A broader selection of poops. Yeah. yeah. So just as we are experimenting, we're gonna try this. Okay. Poop collection time. The best time to actually collect poop is first thing in the morning. Why first thing in the morning? Because when they're lying down, you'll find what the first thing they do when they, there's one over there lying down. If we move over towards her. Over there, yeah. When she stands up, the first thing she'll do, and even with little baby lambs, the first thing they do is they stretch. And then they walk away, put their tail up and poop. And go wiggle waggle poop it's just poop. The way they do it. Okay, should we s sneak up on that? Up here as well. Oh, there's one there. Is it okay? Let's watch. Hold on. Is she gonna wiggle waggle? No, she's not pooping. Her friend is though. Oh, there's a poop. Let's go get that poop. Oh, and there's poops. More poops are pooping. And it has to be as fresh, 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 fresh. Because the eggs will hatch at a certain temperature. So if the air temperature is if it's a warm day, the eggs will hatch very quickly. And part of doing the fecal egg count is that you are trying to float the eggs in a saline solution. So it's just water and salt. If they've already hatched, the worms don't float. So you're not going to find anything in your sample. Ah! So that's why it's important. Here's another fresh, that Here's one another, was that's pooped. That's fresh, is it? Yep. Freshly pooped. So you have two different fresh poops. Two different fresh poops. Excellent. Well, I think that's a really good look at that disgustingness. Isn't that? No, no, that's loverliness. Well, we're going to put it in my kitchen, so it's going to be shabby. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking like a nice, healthy bunch. Lovely Cheviot looking yo lamb there. 
Yeah, it's more she's, Charlotte and probably oh, her dad is a New Zealand Texel. Okay, with that white face. They're saying, freak out time. We don't like that other human. Actually, that's my call. All right, relax, relax, relax. No, I, I'm, I'm freaking them out. No, well, these guys are but youngsters, you know what I mean? So these guys, if you picture a bunch of 14 year old girls at a slumber party and whoever the current attractive male is walks in, ah! that's basically what these guys are like. Look, they've all gone to that gate over there. What happens normally at that gate? They don't even know where they're going. They're just, just a bit stupid. Oh, they're just a bit stupid. Just a bit, stupid. bit stupid teenagers. Teenagers? Highly dramatic. Well, they, they just want to run as well because they're still kind of kids. <laughs> <laughs> All gathering under that beautiful tree over there. I'm sure love is over here. Oh, the boys. Hello to love. No, this is, love is our old lady. Oh, the, old the nursemaid. Lady. Sorry, the nanny sheep. Love is, I think, we think she's about eight. And love was a little lamb who was very sick. And she wouldn't have made it. We had to teach her how to walk. Oh my goodness. Um, love, love, love. Love, love, love. Where are you, old lady? Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Oh, she's a sweet face. She got about orphan as a little lamb and she's kind of a bockety ear, but she's a great personality. But they're running again, so I don't know why they're running either. You gonna run with them? Just being stupid kids. Yeah. They don't know where they're going. Go put some manners on them, love, will you? They're being idiots. Yeah, you tell them. Exactly. You tell them. <laughs> You're just so right, girl. You're so right. She's a good girl. That's a lovely tree. It's crazy, isn't it? Look at you guys. You think you're hiding in the gorse. We can see you. Look at you. We can see you. <laughs> Your hawthorn is red with berries. It's amazing, isn't it? It is absolutely fantastic. And you know, I don't know if it was the same around your way, but this earlier on in the summer. Yeah. Flowers on the hawthorns were incredible. When it was perfect pollinating weather. Yeah. So that's why we have so many of them out. I mean, our place is polluted with them. Oh, look, the yeah. sheep have disappeared. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're the... No, we were polluted with um, we the flowers and it, would, it was enough pollinating weather for all the berries to form. Some might say it's a sign of a hard winter to come. But it's actually the sign of a really good pollinating season. <laughs> it's the reverse. It is the reverse. It doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a hard winter. Here's hoping anyway. Oh yeah, for sure, eh? Exactly. Okay, we literally are in Leonie's kitchen. Look, there's the cooker. There's the soup for lunch. That's our on. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right beside where we're working. I know, with the sheep shit. Okay, so okay. what we're gonna do is, first of all, I have this little cup, okay? This is the McMaster technique of checking for um, uh, parasite eggs. So, 
there's two lines on the cup. Okay, I'm going to fill up to the black line with the saline solution. So that line there, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Okay. And now I need to fill up the rest of the way with poop. The This is, we're doing, this is the lamb's poop that we're going to do. So and you're doing do... this to another line? So, yeah. So this is our poop and I'm going to mix it all up. We've taken three samples. Yeah. Usually if I'm doing it, I'd actually take more like eight to ten samples because it gives me a much better idea. And also, if I am worried about um, the worm count, I'm also going to try and get some crap from lambs that look particularly shitty around their back end. Yeah. That's usually something you're looking for in terms of worms. So that's It also can be too much high it, it can liquid be protein and it, it can, can be, be the grass. grass. As well. Okay. And you do kind of learn to which is which which is which but if you're worried about a lamb and they're not thriving it could be worms yes so that is when we would be doing something like this i'm literally going to put it in and that's not quite up to that brain mark the little so there's the line. second mark right there so i'm just going to put a tiny bit more in and, and you kinda, mix it in that brings us up there okay okay so that's two Whoop! you moved it there Sorry. we go so I'm going to try and mix this in and kind of dissolve it as best as I can. So this is the poop. And the reason for the saline solution is to make so the eggs float. It increases the density of the water and it makes it a density at which the eggs would be lighter than the water saline solution. So it means that they float. So my goal is to get some of the eggs floating and then I can count them. So I'm going to put the sample of this poop onto this special slide. Okay, so it's going to be hard to see on the camera, Oops. but okay. if I lay it down there, you'll see there's little two little grids. Oh, yes. One on each side of the slide. Okay, yeah. Okay. So each grid is divided into six. Yes. And my goal is to count how many eggs are in each grid. Okay. Okay. And you have yeah. two. Is that just for backup or? It just gives you a better reading. You do. You count all of all 12 grids and you add up all the eggs that you see in those. And that's giving you a count on the amount of eggs in the sample. Provided, gotcha. of course, that you've done. You, that you've stirred it up and you have measured out the solution, so, etc. What I'm going to do now is I need to stir this. Okay, I need to make sure all my eggs are floating. So when I get kind of have a little whirlpool thing going on, I try and take from the middle. Now little clots of poop are gonna try and block the thing. Okay. Okay. You also want to try and not have too much air in it because otherwise you get loads of air bubbles. Oh, and there's like an understory. So it's two slides on top of each other. So you're squeezing the pipette in between in between the two slides. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Then we go across. Now this is a school microscope. It's a good school microscope, but it's not a hugely expensive piece of kit. In order to buy one about, if you were to spend about 100, 120 euro, yeah this kind of a microscope yeah which is a one-time buy the other stuff the saline solution and the beaker and the slide and all that i bought online for about 20 euro so it's a one-off expense and then you can do as much and how sampling. much does it cost if you were to send off samples i imagine it costs about 20 euros a go or something like that but the thing is about this is that you have an immediate result so i was with my sheep half an hour ago I can take a sample and within an hour I can tell you if I have a high worm count and if I need to do something to correct that. Whereas if you send off if a send sample. The lab, if I sent it to the lab today, because it's a Thursday, it wouldn't be a great day to send it. It probably wouldn't get there till Monday. We might have a result back by Thursday or Friday of next week, maybe. And if it was a high count. That's a week. That's a big problem. Yeah. It'll be way worse. And the problem with 
gastrointestinal worms is the way they work is that they are chomping on the lining of the sheep's stomach. So if they are so weakening this, their digestibility of whatever food they're eating and damaging them and damaging as well. Them. So a, a week, if I had a high worm count today and I don't find out for seven days, yeah, a sheep that is maybe weakened could be in a catastrophic state. Yes, be really, really bad. Yeah. So you know, especially if you have kind of weaker lambs or if you have say, very, very wet weather, that's stressful. Yeah. Very, very dry weather, that's stressful. Not enough grass. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah. all these stressors add up and suddenly you have a way bigger problem than if you've been able to, you know, a stitch in nine. Yeah. A stitch in time saves nine. Saves nine. That's another one. So, let me see. I have this pretty good. So... Okay. So you go across. Oh, wait, there's so, a notepad. Where's the notepad? So I have, I use this. This is a form I've made up myself. So okay. it's a fecal egg count, collected date, time, number of samples taken, group name. Group name meaning we'd say so, yo lambs and that. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to fill this in. So they're collected by me. Yeah. Leone. Leone. And today's date is... 14th, is it? Uh, yeah, I think it's the 14th. 14th of September. 23. The time is. Is. Okay. So we What's that bird? That is my. Ah, what is it? Oh, it's me. It's my phone, but my, my, my watch won't make it stop. Telephones are so obnoxious. <laughs> okay, number of number of sample takes. We, we took, took three. three. Okay, so it's U lambs. U lambs. Okay, and sample storage. No group description. So that's just if we need to give any other information. So I'm going to say. What are you saying? So I'm saying where they are. Oh, okay, that's so the field. That's my locator. Yeah, and. No worries. No worries. Meaning they look fine. They look and fine. And they did. They all looked very, very healthy. Good. Then you, Leone, performed it and the date and the time. Okay. So we're going to say 15, 30. And then I'll make any notes afterwards. So okay. So I this have, is the grid. So this is the grid that I, we, so we will count, so in, count in each grid. Okay. So. I got this is a little extra thing I got from Amazon and it allows me to move which thing this this thing here okay so it sits on the stage and it allows me to move oh the yes. stage right, so you get it in focus and then it's you very can... hard to move a slide with your hands because the movements are so minute so this was a game changer for me okay so let's see now okay okay so I am looking so, in. Can you see the top left? That top left is an angle. Blue, yeah. yeah. So there's two blue lines, okay? Yeah. So if you use the, these two little knobs just here, okay, yeah. you're going to be able to move left and right. Oh, yeah. And up okay. and down with the other one. Okay. Okay. So basically you have to look at all of each grid. So you'll have to go all the way down and all the way up and across and, you know. Okay, so this... Now, what am I looking for? What do the eggs look like? Well, let me find something and I'll show you. You show me an egg. Okay, you see there's lots of little bubbles. Yes, I saw the bubbles. Because I was a bit vigorous with the shaking. And so that's the water that you're not... You don't that's, want That's the water. little air bubbles. Air, sorry, because air the bubbles. air bubbles are also floating. And that's okay. kind of what I want, is that... But the floatable. The because that's what you're looking for for the eggs. We're looking the for... Eggs. Yeah. Let's have a look, see. Are there any eggs? Well, there's usually a few, and I do like to find a few eggs because that means that I've made a good slide. <laughs> so it's kind of reassuring for me. Mind you, what I'll do now and again is I'll actually send off a sample. I do a sample and I send off a sample to Just blast. to back yourself and up. And I then I know if we're getting kind of similar results, I know that I'm still doing it right. I'm not counting the wrong thing because there's any number of things you could be counting. Now your left hand on the lower side, 
you're doing that's a fine a fine zoom that's a fine zoom so that's going in and out of the liquid or up and down to it's just keeping it in focus so the okay. idea is you have to keep the um the lines you have to keep the line in focus and once the line is in focus you're looking at the top of the slide which is where the eggs float which is where the eggs float no so in one sense it's kind of good that you're not finding any eggs in the other yeah. sense that it's, it's not good it's in crap case. for demonstrative purposes <laughs> but no eggs is definitely good Let's see now. one of the few times one doesn't want to see eggs i know when you have chickens you want to see eggs yeah when you're breeding well, livestock, you want to see eggs. When you have flies, you don't want to see eggs. No, when you have flies. No, so you don't. Not about this that's time. True. No, that's what I mean. Is okay. It's one of the few times you don't want to Here's see eggs. Here's a little interesting one. Okay, what's this? So you can see a black, it looks like a black grain of rice. Oh, yeah, what's that? Okay, Who's that's that? That's actually trichorus is what that's called. Who's trichorus? That's a type of worm. We don't care about it. It doesn't matter to us. Ah. But that is a... It is. It's like is a grain it, of it rice. It looks like a black grain of rice. Or a grain of wild rice, if you will. Ooh, yes, because it's black. And let's wild see. rice is black. Let's have a look, see. You're still on the first square of six. Yes, but I'm on about the fifth, I'd say. So one more to go. Yeah. How recently did you previously do this, and how recently did you worm your that flock of yo lambs? We, I re say it was three weeks ago that I did an egg count and we had been a little bit elevated. So we'd gone in with a very targeted dose mm -hmm. um, as a result of that. So, I mean, there really shouldn't be anything but the other thing is that the temperature bit temperature has been so warm the last week and it's been so wet mm. yeah, that's a kind of a, a worrying thing that's a worm well. worm time yeah yeah when worms thrive i should say when warm worms, and wet is a warm perfect, is perfect wormy mental weather. pot melting melting pot okay now you're okay, moving, okay, to so the moving to the next side slide. now so I didn't find anything on that other one. Except for the grain of rice. Except for a grain of rice, which we don't care about. But that, that doesn't affect, it's doesn't not matter. something that affects, it's not something that affects sheep. They'll always have certain amount of little worms and stuff going on, but generally there's only a couple that you really worry about. I'm not even seeing any coccidia here. Wow. They, I mean, that, that doesn't, they don't mind it, but it's just unusual. The soup. Oh, yeah, we turn it down. It's boiling, at least. Lunch is ready when you've stopped messing with the poop. Okay. Do yeah, I can see the slide moving up and down and around. Okay, there's something, but again, it's not something to be worried about. Which one is that? So there's, the there is an egg right at the central center, but it's specifically strong guys that I'm looking for. So you'll see it's oval. Oh, kind of oval. Yes. So it's an oval grain of rice. Yeah. Kind of like, um, what's that? It looks uh, nearly like polenta an elon, pudding. Yeah, it looks nearly like a, an elongated kind of egg shape. Yes. Yeah. So that is an egg. Uh, belonging but to it's, whom? It's not belonging to anyone we're worried about. Is it another kind of worm? It should be another kind of worm, I'd say. And these two worms, the wild grain of rice and that There's one. another wild grain of rice there, right in the blue line. Oh, yeah. And, and why aren't we worried about those two different kind of worms? Because they don't do damage. Ah, okay. They don't do damage. So oh, I was really hoping to be a strong guy because they're so big and attractive looking. <laughs> well, they're worm eggs. They're not attractive, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Leave it to talk you to say that worm eggs are attractive. Talk about it, you know, adapting to your circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Do you usually put poop in your kitchen? No, but no. some eggs are really attractive. Yes, yeah, some, some worm eggs are really attractive. <laughs> you can get all sorts of other cool stuff. Like what, if you found something else cool?
that is some grass. Oh, look! So those are the little cells yes, in the grass. Yes, you can see. So you can see that they have a, a shape to the cell walls. They're, they're very, yeah. that's kind of what, how, one of the ways that plant cells differ from animal cells. Yes. Except they're quite, you they know, have they have the a walls. strong cell wall. Well, it isn't, it isn't a grass egg. No, it's not. But I suppose a grass egg you would call a seed. You would. But we can see grass seeds, so I'm sure that True. they might actually be too big to actually put up. I think your yo I'm, lambs are, don't need worming. I think they definitely don't need worming. I'm delighted to announce because I think that we're planning on dipping our sheep at the weekend. <laughs> so it was a fun day. So you won't have to worm. We won't have to worm. We might have to. And you're dipping bit. your sheep because, and um, it's a an annual treatment. It's against kind of lice and keds and external parasites to keep them um, healthy and stave off other things like there's all sorts of other nasty skin itchy diseases and stuff they can get. So it's a preventative measure for that. So they get dumped in a big pool of water. Uh, they don't like it very much, but they're only in there so oh, on the last one. Oh, on the last one, you found an egg. There we go. Oh, good. Okay. So That's a strong guy leg. The one in the... See in the middle? And it's in like the middle. It's got full of little balls. Oh, yeah. So that's a strong guy leg. So it's above a bubble. Yeah. So it's like a transparent so it's like rice. A, yeah. And it's a got, thing you of can rice. see the little bubbles in it. So that's yeah. an egg sack with the little eggs inside. And how long does that remain an egg? It, 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 it depends it on temperature. very quickly, doesn't yeah. it? It depends on temperature. So it can hatch so within... I think they can hatch at about... I don't know the temperature. I would have to look it yeah, up. Yeah. But in, in temperatures like today where it's really mild, that would be pretty quick. And the, the little baby worms they crawl up the grass stems and then the sheep chop, chop, eats chop. them and it goes yep. back inside yep and yep. that's that was that's the problem yep okay so from that let me fill out my okay fill hold, out on my chart. hold on a sec hold on a sec so from so that that was these were all zero this yeah i was one so the way i calculate is i say all these added up which is one yeah multiply by 25 which is 25 eggs per gram. Ah. And then below 200 is low, 200 to 500 is moderate, and over 500 is high. So we're definitely well, well low. Very interesting. Okay, and here's the recipe. That's for the salt solution. And the salt solution is the saline solution that yes. you do up to the black line in the yep. little cup. Or if you want to go by weight, because I spoke to a fella in uh, the equine lab in Kildare, it's 28 mils of the flotation solution plus two grams of the fecal sample. If you're going to go by if weight. If you want to go by weight. Okay. And, and it, technically that would give you a more accurate reading. This one, this one where you're yeah. Yeah. very specific in the measurements yeah. and the weight. Yeah. Of the fecal sample. But this gives you a really good indication as well. And, you in, know, in this, it, you can, you've been recording the whole time we've been doing this. So you can see how quickly yeah. it is to do it. I now need to wash up, clean up my slide, put away my microscope. It is now just after half past three. And we... We started at... We went out to the sheep at about three. Yeah. So and within it's, 40 minutes, I can tell you definitively, and I'm very happy that my sheep are good and we do not need to do some forms. So I think it's it's a great skill to have in your repertoire. And um, as a farmer, I suppose a lot of farmers will just blanket, go out with wormers and medications because they think they should. Uh, it's not always necessary. So it's, to be yeah. able to have an absolute reason why 
you're saving yourself money as well, Ali. It's not I cheap know. for all these treatments. It's not cheap for the treatments and it's also not cheap. cheap. Jeez, I can't Time talk. Time and effort as well, eh? Time and effort. But the other thing is, the other thing is that you don't have to spend the money at getting, you only have the one off of what, about 100 euros yep. and about 20 euros for the bits. Yep. And then... And actually, you know, the slide is the only thing you really need. A pipette. I mean, you get these kind of things. The likes of the at a cookie shop. Anywhere on Amazon, you know, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I imagine it's about three euro for 50 of them. Yeah. 50 of them, but you no, you don't need 50 of them. Um, it's the slide with the grid is what's the most important, the most important thing. Okay. And I have taught myself this and I've also. Spoken... Did you teach yourself through a course or did you just read, I read and do? I read it and I got, you know, when I got the set examine e-g-g-z-a-m-i-n was the name of the company that i got the set from and it gives you basic um instructions on how to do the how I to don't do know if the that thing. focuses there we go yeah so that's the 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 company that you got the bits yeah and it has a brief but explainer and how to do it, it. it has a, i mean it's you know i've just given you a short course that is there you as go complicated as it is you don't need to do this no, but it, this is great but, for but your I records. Can look back, you know, at the end of the year, I can look back at all the fecal egg counts I did and where it was high. And, you know, you'll notice there will be hatches at certain times and you can look and see if you're... You'll see the are, flow. You can see the correspondence between the weather and between the temperature. And, you know, there, if you are, you know, a reader of a local farming paper or anything, it will tell you... <laughs> you, that, um, you know there's a there is a hatch of coccidia now so with lambs at a certain age you're looking out for the black scour that's something you're looking for you're waiting for it and then you go out for the with the worming dose you have to remember if you worm animals that's something that goes straight through their system so if you worm them today and they only have eggs in their stomach today and then the eggs hatch out in two days, your wormer is absolutely no good. Mm. Because the wormer only works on the worms, not the eggs. And that's a so vital that's difference in... But from this point of view, if you have eggs, you definitely have worms. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're not... When I... If I dose them, I'm killing the worms that are there, not the eggs that are there. Do you know what I mean? So you yeah. just... You know, that's why you have to be careful about knowing what you've got exactly now i think that's really really good and i'll i'll um hopefully put the links on the video